Six foot two and weighed about 110 pounds, soaking wet. Now he used to do this route in this place called Ogden, up on the hill where the rich folk lived. And he used to tell me there was a skanky hoe that lived up there. She's about in her mid 50s. She used to pay him extra money for special deliveries. Every time he tried to quit the route, she wouldn't let him because she needed her special sauce that came in the special package that only the Mikey soaking wet, 110 pounds, could deliver. She was pretty fly for an old chick. You know, he said maybe she was like a cougar kind of gal. If y'all know what I mean. We're heading on back to the old homestead. The little town. Getting all worked up, all excited for some fireworks. We have got the fireworks stand. Oh, sleeping there. there was a guy last year that worked at the local family Dollar Tree store that used to tell us about how he made his way out to Utah from Ohio. Without the moms, he came alone. The guy got kicked out of the apartment to which he was living. 
And so, yes, he was living underneath the big, hey, turn that crap down. So he was living underneath the circus tents they used to sell the TNT fireworks. He was living under there like a freaking rat. Until the cop finally came and said, hey, chump, get your ass out of there. And then the next day he said to me, sir, this will be my last day here because I have been kicked out of my little circus tent that has the rats. So that is the story of the day. I hope it was good. I hope it was fresh. I hope it was live. I hope you're all good. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty fresh. <laughs> Talk to you later. <laughs>